Hi guys, uh, myself Mr. Nax and welcome to the RCB Insider Show. On this show, there is zero sleaze, only peace. Today with me, two men who plundered the wealth of this country. They've come back again to take something. None of us know what that is. Let's meet them. Chris Fawkes and Moinali. How are you? Very well, how are you? Good. Thank you. What about you? Very good, man. Very good. Happy to be in Bangalore. Yeah, I just want to know uh, you took so much wealth. The Koinur diamond, why have you come back? Hopefully to bring the IPR trophy and get some more wealth. <laughs> <laughs> is that a um, real nose and glasses or is that fake? Yeah, it's real. Are you going to take this back as well? No, I can't do it. So leave the nose it's too heavy. X6 baggage. So, guys, uh, when it's your first IPL, how does it feel to be in a team? It's great to be in a different team, uh, something different. Um, obviously, to meet the legendary Mr. Nags. Yeah. The, the mustache, that's the reason why I've let mine grow as well. And what about you? Yeah, delighted to be back in the IPL. Obviously, I had a year last year with KKR. So. Were you there last time when we got out for 49? Yes, I was there. I was no. part of the... Uh, Did you not have any shame getting your own team out at 49? Well, at, at that moment in the time, I didn't know obviously I was going to play for RCB. So, so I want so. you to please apologize to everybody and say I'm really sorry I got our own team out for 49. Please yeah. apologize. I very apologize. Very much apologize. British no English. Fans. What is wrong with the British English? You said I very apologize. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah, yeah. Develop your personality. Effective coaching. Excellent result. For all ages, nominal fees. I apologize, I apologize yeah. to the RCB fans for calling you guys out for 49. Boy, that's out, that's out. You're also an RCB member now. No, yeah, I am now, but I wasn't then, so I can't really, you know, take advantage of that. So you guys recently got married, I've been told. See, you know, I'm also going to get married, so I just want to know what advice do you have for marriage? Uh, I would like to know who's going to marry you. Take two. Yeah, Antony, what were you saying? So how do you keep a marriage alive? Just say yes to everything. She's smile and nod. Smile and nod. She's never wrong. Develop your personality. Effective coaching. Excellent result. For all ages. Nominal fees. So, what about uh, you? How did you meet your wife? How did I met my wife? Uh, so my... It was like at a local sort of gig. Sort of concert gig. Pause. Let's recreate this with both of y'all. Show me, what recreate the scene. What happened? Well, it's up. I was drunk at the time, so I can't really remember the whole thing. Okay, he was drinking milk, by the way. This is a bad <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But can you do the story? So you met her and then... Yeah, and then uh, that was it. We, um, we, we got talking, we exchanged numbers, we talked for a while. Um, she was just finishing school. Um, and yeah, the rest is history. We're, we're married 11 years later. What a story. Very emotional. So what's your favourite part of Bangalore? Um, I haven't seen much. Me and Chris, we took a car and we've been stuck on the Silkport Junction um, for about three days. Awesome. So we actually have a competition right now between three of us. And the fans are going to be deciding. Are you guys ready to compete with me? Let's do it. So guys, uh, we are right now on the Duroflex bed and we are going to be doing a modelling competition between Moin, Chris and me. Guys, it's not sexy enough, please. You are being British, stopping so boring. What's so common is that? No, I'm just saying, what do you mean? No, you want a cup of tea? Oh.